What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flippin' Jigs TV. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set any bait caster that you need to be able to set. The question that I get asked the most is how do I set a bait caster to keep it from backlashing no matter what you're throwing? Okay, and I'm going to show you guys that today. So, you got this rod right here. You guys see this is my Flippin' Texas rig, you know, stuff like that rod. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get it rigged up with a little Texas rig, and I'm going to show you guys how to set it and um, what you need to know to set any bait caster that you own. This is mainly for beginners, um, and uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm about to hit 400, looking forward to hitting 500, and let's keep this thing going. So uh, if you're new... Hit that subscribe button down below. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I'm running into some issues getting some videos made down here in South Hill. I'm working on that slowly. But uh, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a 500 sub giveaway. I'll be giving away three shirts, either two or three shirts. And um, I'm working on giving away a few other things to two or three lucky winners, depending on what I decide to do. Um, but it is going to be a 500 subscriber giveaway, so all you have to do to enter will be in the next video coming up whenever I figure all that stuff out. But, uh, go ahead and drop a like on this video to hit that subscribe button, and let's get right on into the intro. <laughs> So I'm here, I got rigged up, got my bait cast set up, um, Texas rig. This little Texas rig with a black shark arm on it. It's just something I kind of throw together right now. Um, what I'm usually throwing any kind of Texas rig on is at least a 7 foot rod. This is a 7 foot 6 because I like a little bit longer rod. Um, this is a heavy action proficiency rod. You can go pick this thing up at Walmart. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this today. And as you can see, I'm actually having an issue of... I was throwing something a lot lighter on here. So, I got... I mean, a lot heavier. So, I got it where it don't even want to come out the spool. So, I got to do this myself. So, the way I usually do this is I hold the button. I tighten it all the way down. The first thing I do is I tighten this little knob right here all the way down. That's going to keep it from falling. Like, at all. All right, what I do is I slowly loosen this knob right here up. This knob right, right there. I slowly loosen it until, until this bait starts kind of free fall. Not fast, but real slow. All right, so there it is right there, real slow. Now you can take this, cast it, and you won't never have a backlash. Just like that. Now, this specific technique works for just about anything. If you're flipping, you can also do it as well, but you know you're gonna need it a little bit faster. So I loosen it up a little bit more. There we go, now I can flip it. Anywhere I need to flip it. And this is when you know you've loosened it up too much. You start getting that little bit of backlash. I purposely done that to show you guys. Um, that's when you know you loosened it too much. So then we're going to talk about the other settings on this reel. And all bait casters have these settings as well. So everything should be the same, what I'm showing you guys. And this is 15 pound floor that's on here. So you're saying, yeah, I can flip it now, but it's it, wanting the backlash on me. Well, that's when you start messing with these settings on the side here. That's when you start messing with this right here. So right now I got mine almost on freeze pool. That's usually where I want to keep it when I'm flipping, and that's just where I keep it, period, because I like to really get far with my cast. But um, you basically want it so it's just the bait right here is just free falling. It's just slowly going down. And you know, that's gonna be for a beginner's thing where you ain't gonna backlash. And being a fisherman, if you just getting into picking up a bait caster, 
you know, you're going to backlash. That's just the way it is. Um, I'm all self-taught. I had no one teach me how to use these things. I just sat in the yard and played with them for a long time. But like I said, you just want it so that baits very slowly following, and then you can be able to whip that thing out there. And not only is it going to be good cast without backlashing, it, you actually get pretty far with this. Uh, I believe this this is a lighter Texas rig I'd be throwing. I believe this is a 3 8 ounce um, weight on it with a uh, 5 5 ounce hook. But most of the time, I'm usually throwing either a 3 8 on a Texas rig, depending on what I'm fishing, like shallow or cover and stuff like that. If I want that slower fall, I usually hit it with the 3 8 And if I'm fishing deeper water, uh, rocks, anything like that, I'd rather have a quarter ounce just because I can feel stuff a lot better with it and it gets down to the bottom a whole lot quicker. Um, so that's basically everything right there as far as this goes. Now, let's get into, let's say you want to take this off, put on something different. Okay, you take this off, let's say you put on a spinnerbait or something. It's going to be 10 times heavier than this, right? You can always start out the same way. Start by tightening this knob right here down, all the way. It's going to be kind of hard to reel, that's normal. Um, it'll loosen up, the reeling would loosen up as you loosen this up. Like I said, same thing. You just keep backing off of it, keep backing off of it, until this bait right here begins to slowly fall. So I'm steady backing off of it, steady backing off of it. There it goes. All right. And sometimes what'll happen is with these baits and these reels and stuff, they'll get kind of stuck. Like they, you'll be loosening it, loosening it, and it won't do it. So every once in a while, just take it and kind of just tap it a little bit. It's kind of just to get it to fall. And a lot of times it'll go on down, but if it doesn't, that means you need to keep loosening up on it. So it's going to be a whole lot shorter video. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm having some trouble getting ponds to fish down here in Southampton and everything, but hoping I can get back on the water soon before it gets real cold and get some bigging put in the boat but um, or on the bank or whatever whatever kind of way I can fish and um that's how you know I ain't been fishing in a while when I can't even remember where my my hook keeper is on this rod but uh also said in my earlier videos I was going to do a full review on this rod right here and that will be coming up soon um I'm gonna try to do all the videos where I'm just kind of sitting down talking about stuff now that way when I finally do figure this out and can start fishing ponds that I can go ahead and get that done and just fish the whole time and not have to really worry about doing all this stuff but um it will be a few a full review coming out on this specific rod right here like I said this is a pro fishers rod they're like 98 bucks at Walmart so I picked one up decided to give it a try and I told you guys in the earlier video when I had first gotten it that I was going to do a review on it once I thought it met the requirements and I put a lot of fish in the boat with this thing and I just want to tell you guys exactly how this thing performs. Um, this is a really nice rod for the money but I will go in depth to everything as far as action of it, how I like it, if I would get more or not, stuff like that. I will go further into that but um, there, if you made it this far in the video I want to say thank you so much for supporting this channel. Um, my uncle's neighbors, you know who you are if you're watching this. Thank you guys. Got to see y'all the other day. Um, I'm going to try to get on some of them geese one day. <laughs> but uh, right now I'm worried about working making some money. So um, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video. And tell your friends about my channel. Let's go on and get this thing up to 500 subs. And at, when I hit 500 subs, I will be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. Like I said, it's either going to be two or three shirts. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet and some other stuff I'm trying to work on. But um, I will be doing a giveaway and get that to you guys as soon as possible in some upcoming videos. You can't miss it. Be sure to turn on the post notifications so maybe you can get lucky in and win that giveaway so you don't miss the video when it drops. Um, I think I'm going to run that giveaway for maybe one or two weeks depending on how it goes uh 
everything goes right, hopefully I'll have everything straight. But um, yeah, so I apologize for the fishing and stuff. It's not been where it needed to be, but you know it is what it is. So like I said, thank you guys for watching this video. And there's a link in the top of the description below. You can go check out my Instagram. I've asked guys, I'll ask you guys a lot of questions um, what you guys might want to see. And if you want to see anything, put it in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, anything. Uh, challenges. Anything. Um, I got some big plans coming up as soon as I can figure out somewhere to fish. So you guys be looking forward to that. And as far as that goes, thanks for watching. And I hope this helps some of you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Flipping Jigs TV.